Image ERP ACRAC Inquiry lets you create queries to retrieve information from your company database and create simple reports. When you open a query, you'll see the Filters panel and the Results grid. You use the Filters panel to create and manage query filters, and you use the Results grid to customize and export the results of your query. In this tutorial, we'll focus on the Results grid. Say you're a sales manager and you want to create a report that shows invoices for the current month to date. On the Inquiry menu, you started by selecting this template for AR Customers and Transactions, which shows customer documents in customer currency. Then you customize the query by adding a filter to show documents for the month to date. And then you click Submit to view results. Now that you've created your query, you can customize the results to create a report. Let's start by clicking the header above the filters area to minimize it while we're working with the results. First, we'll look at the Customize Results button. Click this to open the Customize Results window, which contains two lists of fields. Current fields are displayed in the results grid in the order shown here. To add fields to the results grid, select them from the available fields list and click Add. To remove fields from the results grid, select them here and click Remove. You can also add or remove multiple fields at the same time. If you hold down the control key on your keyboard, you can select multiple non-consecutive fields, such as totals and balances, in functional currency. And if you hold down the shift key, you can select multiple consecutive fields. Just click the first and last fields, and all the fields in between will also be selected. To control the order in which fields appear in the results grid, select a field and click Move Up or move down. When you're finished, click OK. The results grid is updated and shows the field you selected in the order you specified. You can also use column headers to further customize results. To resize columns, simply drag the edge of a column. To sort results in ascending order by a specific column, click the column header. To change the sort order from ascending to descending or back, click the column header again. After you sort, this arrow points up or down to indicate ascending or descending order. When you point to a column header, a drop-down arrow appears. You can click this arrow to see the column menu, which shows more customization options. The first option is Group by this field. Select this to group results by the current column. Here are the month's invoices grouped by document date. A header row appears above each group. Note that you can only group by one column. So if you group by a different column, the previous grouping will be removed. The second option in the column menu is Show Summaries. This option displays summary information about groups, so it is only available after you group results. When you select it, available summaries appear below each group in the current column. You can show summaries in as few or as many columns as you like, and specify exactly which summaries you'd like to show. Available summaries vary from column to column, and can include minimum, maximum, count, subtotal, and average. As you can see, the results are refreshed every time you change an option in a column menu. 
If you're planning to make multiple selections in column menus, clear the Auto Refresh checkbox. Now you can make multiple selections without waiting for results to be refreshed. And when you're done, click Refresh to apply your selections. When you show summaries for one or more columns, the summary icon appears in each column. Grand totals of all the information in the summaries also appears in the last rows in the results grid. If you'd like to see grand totals without scrolling to the end of the results, click the Show Grand Totals pane checkbox. Auto refresh is turned off, so we'll have to manually refresh results to add this pane. The grand totals pane floats below the results grid and is always visible as you scroll through results. When you're finished customizing query results, you can print or export your report. Click Print to export query results to a PDF document. The PDF shows only columns that are fully visible in the results grid without scrolling to the right. So before you print, make sure you arrange and resize columns so all the information you want to see in the PDF is visible without scrolling horizontally. To export to an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file, click Export. If you plan to modify grouping and summaries in the resulting Excel spreadsheet, you should turn off summaries in Inquiry before exporting. If you don't, these additional rows can interfere with any sorting and calculations you perform in Excel. After making any changes, click Export and select XLS. Your query results appear in a new spreadsheet ready to customize.